Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in the world of QuickBooks point of sale, we are going to go over how you can edit an automatic discount that you already created and a few gotchas that you might not notice that might stop you in your tracks. So before we do that, don't forget to click on the link down below to get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group where you can talk about errors or workflows or training or request a video for our channel. We would love to see you there and uh, people such as me or other community members will answer you. If you're on YouTube right now, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can get every single video coming out on our channel all the time. Be notified and see what you're interested in. Let's do it now. I'm gonna head on up to the inventory menu and down to price manager. We are gonna take a look at some previously created automatic discounts and if something went wrong with them, we can fix it up. So you got a few buttons here that are for making the discounts in the first place, but if you wanna see a list of all the discounts that you've created already, you are going to click on view all discounts and coupons. So here we are, these are the active discounts. And so you're only gonna see things that are currently set up here. However, if you want to get back to a different discount that you did in the past that has expired, then you're gonna to wanna to switch over to either all discounts or inactive discounts. And if it's not currently active and it's going to be enacted in the future because you've scheduled it, then you'll wanna to go to scheduled discounts. So I'm gonna switch over to all discounts and you can see our discounts here and I am going to choose this one. I set this up the other day, but let's say I I started using it and ringing people up and it wasn't working quite right. Maybe something got set up wrong. So I can double click on it. And here we are, we have buy four in the jewelry department, which is not shown yet. And we get 25% off the, of the items. And I've set this up for a period uh, from now until next week on the 26th, today's the 20th. And so maybe, uh, this was supposed to be 30% off and I accidentally put 25. So I'm going to type 30 and I'm going to hit next and I'm going to hit next and I'm just going to go through all the settings again. This is set up for jewelry. And then I was like, Oh shoot, this was supposed to be 30. So I'm just going to rewrite the discount name and there you have it. All right. So now that we've updated that, we're back on the make a sale screen and we're going to buy a charm necklace. And I'm going to choose to buy five of them so that we can see the discount happen. And here you see it, we have updated it from 25% off to 30% off and it works. Now you know how to edit your discount as it's going and you'll have some happy customers because you can make the discount work correctly. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along in this video. I hope you have yourself a great day.